Hello guys, welcome back to Gitroy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Battlefield 2042 is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, structuring, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even black screen issues which is happening for many of these right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into this. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here in the power icon now sorry the start icon go to the power icon over here and go for restart once the restart is done just try launch the game and you have to see if that's gonna work for you guys as well because sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue that is why i recommending you can try with a simple one and this is what you have to do next one is all about nothing but we have to try with you have to launch the game from the installation folder. So right now we are in the Steam. So launching the game here might not be working. So we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So we have two methods. One we have a shortcut. Another one we can navigate using the file explorer. So I'll show you both. The first one just right click over here in the game. Go to the properties and go to the installed file. Just click on the browse. So that will redirect you to the installation folder. And if you check at the top, there is this PC, new volume D steam library steam apps common battlefield 2042 so this is the application so we just need to launch the game from here and that will be working fine because for many users when they launch the game from the installation folder it did work it so you can try this out so apart from this you can also navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer just go to the file explorer go to this pc go to new volume d now go to steam library go to steam apps go to common now from here we have to go over here now we can navigate to the battlefield 2042 just navigate to the folder now from here we can try launch the game and we can see whether that is going to work for you guys or not because even it did work it for many uses you can try this out like i said afterwards you can also try trying out two more steps that is we have to run the game as an administrator so right click and go to the show more option go to the properties go to compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game and that is what we have to do this even worked for many users we can try this one as well next one we can right click and go to the show more option go to the properties compatibility click on run this program in the compatibility mode you can go for first one which i'm recommending is try on windows 8 because it will be working so you can try with the windows 8 go for apply and go for ok Next one, you can try with Windows 7. You can go for apply and you can go for OK as well. So any one of the things will be working. So you can try this one as well. So next one, after trying with this one, if the issue is still there, we can move to the next one. That is all about. We need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab together. So just launch the game, press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. I don't know how this is related, but this did work it for many uses. You can try this out. Just launch the game and press Alt and Tab and that will be working fine as well. Next one is all about nothing but we have to uh, make sure the date, time and region. So just go over here in the search and we have to navigate to settings. Just search for settings. Go over here in the settings. Now from here go to the time and language. Go for date and time. Make sure the time and time zone should be correct. So this has to be correct. This has to be correct which is very important. Once you turn this on just go over here. Go to language and region. Now from here we have to set this. So if you're from United States, select United States. If you're from United Kingdom, you have to set United Kingdom. Set the language which is correct and once afterwards just close everything and go back. Try launch the game and that will be working fine as well. Next one is all about nothing but we have to delete the saved game file which is a very important one. And you have to keep in mind when you do this you will be losing all the progressions of the game. So just go over here in the file explorer, navigate to this PC, navigate to documents. And over here, if you find the folder named Battle 42042, you have to delete it. And keep in mind that it is, you'll be losing all the progressions. If you're not able to find it anywhere here, navigate to My Games. And over here, if you find this, just delete it. And once afterwards, close everything and go back, try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to allow the game to Windows Security. Just go over here in the search. We have to go for Control Panel. Search uh, for the control panel. So search for the control panel. Just click on this one. Now from here go to system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. 
now keep scrolling down and navigate to battlefield 2042 just keep scrolling down so uh, you were able to find it up somewhere else here so uh, if you're not able to find it do not worry we can do this so let me check this it is battlefield 2042 right so this has to be here but it's not there we'll add it by default so just click on the change settings go for allow another app go for browse go to this pc because it's installed in d open d stream library stream apps common go to battlefield 2042 just navigate to battle 2042 go over here and select open and go for add so once it's added you can see it is added and you have to keep in mind both the private and public has to be checked so just check both the private and public once afterwards try launch the game in my opinion this did work it for few users you can try this out once afterwards try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved next one is all about we have to close uh, we have to first close i mean we have to turn off steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click go to the properties go for over here if uh, the steam overlay is enabled we have to turn this off and once afterwards try launch the game if that is not the case we have to move to the next one we have to give the commands in the launch option the first command is dx11 try with dx11 if dx11 is not working try with dx12 so you can try with dx11 or you can try with dx12 any one of the things will be working fine so once afterwards try launch the game and that did work it for many users you can try this out as well next one is all about nothing but we have to close all the overlay application so just go over here in the start right click and we have to go over here in the task manager now from here we have to go over here in the start Now from here you can see there is a background process so if you find over here there are actually 62 apps running in the background and all these are actually utilizing the performance so that is why you are having the question issue so what we need to do is we just need to remove the unwanted things for example riva tuner msa afterburner all these are one of the example so just remove the unwanted things from here and once afterwards try launch the game and that will be working fine as well So once you're done with this one just go back try launch the game once again and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one. That is all about we have to uh, unplug all the USB devices. So we might be filled with a lot of things for example you know multiple monitors or multiple controllers might be connected. So which is all causing the issue up so just remove unwanted things and you have to launch the game once you're in the game just connect it back and try continue playing the game that will be working fine as well. Next one what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search you have to go to system configuration go go to services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services and go for apply and go for okay so uh, you have to go for restart but i'm going to go for exit without restart and once after the restart is done try launch the game and that will be working fine next one is we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search type and search for graphic settings now from here we have to add the game it is not added just click on the browse now from here go to this pc go to local disk d go to steam library steam apps common now from here go to battlefield 2042 select this one and go for add so right now this is added select this one and go for option if this is let windows to side change this to high performance and go for save once you change this to high performance and go for save once afterwards just close everything go back and try launch the game and that is what we have to do next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search and we have to go for view advanced system settings just go over here and go to view advanced system settings go to the advanced go for settings once again go for advanced once again go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk so i'm going to select local disk d and we have to go for custom size set the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here and we need to go to the calculator so we just need to type the ram that is 32 gb is my ram i have to multiply it with sorry i have to multiply with a constant value that is 1024 so i have to multiply it with 1.5 so that is 14 and 152 so just copy this and we have to paste it next one we have to set this to maximum size 32 gb multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it as well and go for okay and go for everything okay and once afterwards try launching the game 
Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing link in the description to both Nvidia. We can go over here. So select type, for example, your product type, product series, products, and everything has to be selected. And uh, you know you have to select uh, 14 CDs. Everything should be selected and go for a start search. Now when you go for start search, what happens is you can see so 5 foot uh, 45.84 is the driver version. You have to download this one, install, restart is mandatory and try launch the game. If you're on AMD, just go over here, select every details over here and go for submit. Now go for submit if you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you can try downloading this one and try installing and that is what you have to do. If you're on the latest version of Visual C++, just go over here in this one. You can try downloading and installing this. Just go over here, download this one. If the system is based on x64, if the system is based on x86, just download this one. Install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Even after trying with this, if the issue is there, try updating the windows. So just go over here, navigate to the settings. Now from here, go to the windows update. Now make sure the windows is up to date because we have to run the windows on the latest versions or else we'll be having the trouble. So just make sure the windows is up to date. And if it is on up to date, we are fine with it. And once afterwards, try launch the game. The last and the least one, you can try two steps. One, we have to uninstall the game, just uninstall the game. And you have to reinstalling it back because right now the game is on D. Either you can install it on C or you can try installing it back on E. That is what we have to do. And the last very important step is all about we have to verify integrity of game file. So just go over here, go to the properties, install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. It is going to take a bit of time because it will be cross-checking every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, that is why we are having these kind of issues. So once this reach 100 percentage and you get a message that all oh, the files are successfully validated, you are fine with it and try launch the game. So we have to wait this to reach 100 percentage. So let's wait this to reach 100 percentage first and I'll be showing you what you have to do afterwards.
So once all files are successfully validated, just close everything and try launch the game and that will be working fine. So this is what you have to do. I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.